Next news. Uh, let's talk about iOS ports of Resi 4. I haven't seen it written out like that. Yeah. Assassin's Creed Mirage and Death Stranding sold poorly, estimates suggest. Yeah. I would like to jump in and say I played the Resident Evil 8 uh, port yeah. yesterday. Okay. Uh, it ran bad. I don't really? know what... I, it, I played it before. Yeah. And it ran great. Mm -hmm. And I was playing it yesterday and suddenly it was bad. Really? It was choppy and shit. I, don't, I mean, I'm on iOS 18 beta. Right. Maybe that's... So right. that could have yeah. something to do with it. But iOS 18 beta has game mode. Right. Did you turn on game mode? It's on. I, I tried to turn on game mm -hmm. mode. It is just on automatically when you play a game. Okay. So, and everything I read about game mode just says that it increases the, uh, or it lowers the latency for Bluetooth connections. Okay. I don't know if it necessarily like makes the oh and 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 it lowers uh uh processing power for background apps i think right. which is m the more important thing uh -huh. that matters to me um but yeah it ran bad i don't know i'm gonna try it again yeah. uh maybe it was just that day my right. my phone felt like not working too good but uh usually all this stuff runs great i was yeah. surprised that uh it, it just randomly all of a sudden decided not to run good uh, according to analysis by uh, MobileGamer.biz, based on the estimates of app figures, uh, the iOS ports of Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Village, Death Stranding, and Assassin's Creed Mirage have failed to sell well despite Apple featuring them during their keynote presentations in the past year. The games are only playable on high-end iPhone and iPad devices, meaning the potential audience size is smaller than the overall iPhone user base in the first instance. However, even with this in mind, App Figures estimates uh, suggest that while Assassin's Creed Mirage has been downloaded around 123,000 times, it's only made about $138,000 of gross revenue. What? Given that the game is free to download with players able to access a small part of the game before having to pay $50 to unlock the rest of it, it this suggests that fewer than 3,000 people went to buy the full game. I'll say that uh, Resident Evil 8 is the same idea. Yeah. And I still have not gotten to the part where I need to buy the game. <laughs> I'm like, I got... Yeah. pretty decently into the game right you get a pretty big chunk to try the game really? and i think that that's really important for a, yeah. for something like this if you're playing a port of a game on hardware that it might not run good on yeah you need to be able to try it and you yeah. need to be able to try a significant portion of it mm -hmm. so you can get to actual gameplay because the beginning of a game usually is just some bullshit yeah you need to wait till the game opens up and be able to play that for a little mm -hmm. bit in order to see if you can even run it on your iPhone or on even your computer or something. Yeah. Uh, similar circumstances, similar calculations based on app figures estimates suggest that around 7,000 iOS users have paid for Resident Evil 4, around 5,750 have uh, paid for Resident Evil Village, and around 10,000 have paid for Death Stranding. That's crazy. MobileGamer.biz also points out that these are merely estimates and notes that another data firm, AppMagic, uh, has higher figures, albeit still low in the grand scheme of things. According to AppMagic, Resident Evil 4 and Village have sold uh, 15,000 and 34,000 copies, respectively, on iOS, while Assassin's Creed Mirage has sold 5,750 and Death Stranding has sold around 23,000. Uh, so yeah, it's still not a lot. That's it's like a drop in the bucket compared to what these games sell on the like, console. It's really disappointing. Yeah, we know that developers don't like to uh, develop for Apple devices. Yeah, because it just doesn't seem worth it to them. And this is just proof that it's not worth it. To yeah, them. I have a lot of faith that these new iPhones uh, are capable of a lot especially these days where games are being developed in a way where they can run great on worse hardware. Yeah. Uh, just with, you know, lighting pared down and stuff. Yeah. But like, who gives a shit about light? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll understand that the lighting is going to be worse on my phone than it yeah. would be if I was playing on an Xbox. Um, but I was hoping that this would give other developers incentive to port stuff over to iOS or to the phone because everyone's got a phone. Yeah. It's just 
I would love games to be in more places. But I think, and this article touches upon it too, I think the problem is that, you know, these are $50 high-end console games that they're now porting over to the phone, whereas that gaming market is used to free yeah. up to like $3 games that you just play in like quick bursts, not necessarily like the full-fledged like console gaming experience. And that combined with the fact that they're only available on like the highest end iPhones, not necessarily like I can't play them because I have an iPhone 11. Yeah. So I, they're completely out of my reach. So uh, th- we saw this issue uh, arise or this conversation happened when Nintendo did Mario Run. Mm-hmm. Uh, they That was a free app. Yeah. You play the first level and then you have to pay 10 bucks. Yes. 10 bucks, not a lot of money no. for a game, but kind of a lot of money for a mobile game, yes. especially one that you might have thought was free. Yeah. So I think they did really good for themselves with Mario Run because it was yeah. very popular, but I don't think they did as well as they would have liked to, or else we would have seen a lot more yeah, exactly. of that payment 100%. model. 100%. Uh, and this is the worst end of the spectrum. This yeah. is a free game that is all of a sudden fifty dollars. Yeah, I want this to catch on because I would love an ecosystem where I can play Assassin's Creed Mirage on my phone or on my MacBook. Yeah, fifty dollars for that, it would be great. I it's th- like having a Switch. I think what Apple needs to do, though, is I think they need to focus more on making the M processor MacBooks and Mac computers more gamer friendly and have those be the devices you play the modern AAA game stuff on because that makes more sense to people to pay $50 to play a modern game on a computer than it does to play 50, pay $50 to play a modern game on a phone. So Because those are... It's been shown that those are two completely different markets. My understanding is that some of these games, if you buy it on the phone, it will also be on the App Store on your computer. Yes. But not all of them. Right. And I don't understand why it's like that. Uh, That's a big problem. So maybe we should be looking at these numbers differently. Maybe it's uh, how many people bought it for the Mac and then are also playing it on the phone. You know, like that's a number that we could look at too. But I'd imagine that'd be pretty small too because people just aren't gaming on their Macs. Yeah. Apple did do some great stuff with uh, their emulation. What do they call it? Oh, there was that thing that. Rosetta? No, well, yes, but no, there was one specifically for gaming. Metal. Yeah, but it's a it's a it's an engine that oh, emulates. Oh yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah it emulates. And it's the whole reason yeah. why all of this shit exists. People yeah. were doing cyberpunk on. Yes, on, yes, uh, I do M1 remember. Mac. Game porting toolkit. Thank yes. you, for original spiff. Uh, that apparently is awesome. Yeah. Uh, and if I knew how to use it, you know, I'd be porting fucking everything. Mm-hmm. Um, th- it would be great if that was made into something that was a little more user friendly that people yeah. could mess around with. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil Four. Get. Uh, I can just get it right now. It includes in-app purchases. The game is sixty dollars, plus the separate ways DLC, which is ten dollars. Jesus yeah. Christ! I paid for one of them, and I don't remember which one it was. I either paid for Resident Evil Four or I paid for Resident Evil Village. I'm trying to see. And I don't remember which one I paid for because I got both of them. Yeah, and I played both of them, but I didn't play that much of either of them. The the App Store on here doesn't set compatibility. Works with this MacBook. Oh, compatibility works with this MacBook. Uh, Mac requires a uh, Mac OS 13 or later on a Mac with an M1 chip or later. iPhone requires iOS 17 on an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max. So it lists the compatibility of every Apple device it works on on the store page. I mean, I guess that it implies. That like once you get it and you get it for everything, but I think they need a they need to spell it out more clearly. So I I I I guess I could show this. Um you got Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Resident Evil 4, mm-hmm. Resident Evil Village for Mac. Okay. So that is oh, here we probably go. different than the phone. Go to Resident Evil 4. 
Just click on it. It's uh, a cloud. That means I had it on my phone. I've never yeah. downloaded it on my Scroll computer Scroll down before. a little bit. It's under the first picture. It's uh, I see Mac, iPhone, and uh, there. That's where it is. That's what I was looking for. Because on and this is only Mac. Yes. So it's the phone version is different. That sucks. Yes. Dude. <laughs> that sucks. But it's cool that Resident Evil Four. I can just download it. And I could probably just pick it up where I left off. Yes. So that's cool. I want that, but for Resident Evil Village, because Village is the one that's more graphically intensive. Yeah. That's one of the problems with, yeah. uh, with gaming on Mac. I would love it to be more universal. Yeah. Now, Death Stranding. You know what? I got it for Steam. I'm not buying it again. Yeah. <laughs> not doing that again. Because I already got it on PlayStation. I think I it was on sale on Steam, so I just ended up buying it. Right. Uh, and I got to replay it on Steam. Uh, I'm not buying it on my freaking phone. Yeah. 